you claim that a humorous video would increase positive and decrease negative affect. In the case of your experiment, the lie detector test determined this was a... We'll be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. Go, go. The results are in, and they are statistically insignificant. What if the humor video did lower negative affect and raise positive affect? But the lack of data and the fact that we didn't have that many participants was the reason for why our results were statistically insignificant. All right, this is a row of cats. And this represents the number of participants we had in our study. As you can see, there's 18 cats, one for each participant in our study. That is not that many cats or participants, and if we just had more, then the difference might be statistically significant. What we needed were more cats or more participants. We needed like this many, then, then it probably would have been significant. One does not simply conduct an experiment without issues. Is it possible that time was an issue? There was a, there was a study that was done where two videos were shown. One was of stand-up, and it was like 16 minutes, and then the other one was of just like death scenes and just all this corpses and all these like bad things, and that was 20 minutes. But in our study, our study had way less than that. So this, this number of cats right here, you guys, this represents the number of minutes that study had their, uh, one cat for each minute of, of their humor video. And this represents the amount of time we had for our humor video. As you can see, this is, uh, like 0.3, like 0.5 something of a cat, which goes to show that our video was a lot short. Like, so what's the deal with corpses? They're like, they have no guts and that's why they can't cross the road. All right, so suggestions for future experiments. For in a future experiment, they could test, they could test the effect of, of the type of video and control for funniness level. So for example, they could have a video of a giraffe licking a squirrel as the humor video. And then after that, they could show people a video of like a giraffe eating a squirrel. And maybe people would see that as less negative if they were to see this giraffe licking a squirrel one, because they'd be like, ha ha, giraffes and squirrels are so funny. And they'd see it being eaten, but it would be like less negative as opposed, and then take like another equally funny thing, which would be like an owl on a skateboard, and then, <laughs> and then show that. And I'm guessing that, that an owl on a skateboard, since it's completely unrelated to giraffes and squirrels, the group watching that is more likely to see the second video as negative, or like come away with it with more of a negative aspect. And then when you see a corpse in the, in the like negative end video, then you'd be like, oh, that's hilarious because it has no guts. And this is the mean version of that joke that I made. I'm sure it's already up there. This is like the corpse and they'd see it and they'd be like, oh snap, this is funny. As opposed to like, oh man, that's depressing. Our study had people from ages 18 to 22, all psychology students. It's like this cheese, yes. It's like, it's like, it's all different shapes and sizes, but it's, it's the same type of cheese. It's 
quite the same. So what we need to do is to to have like like that cheese platter, like more variability within the people, and that way, uh, what would happen is it would be more representative of, of the bigger population, which would make the results more externally valid and applicable to everything else. All right, another suggestion for future studies is to increase the variability of participants, like I said. And here's this guy from uh, space. We share about two three minutes left. Thank you. That will be enough. All right, so conclusion. We are not sure how this applies, why all this stuff is important, is because in people's lives, they experience stress, like at work, you might be stressed out. Like, look at this, look at there. She's like, she got like a bunch of people coming up to her at the same time with cell phones and papers and she just totally stressed out but maybe if she were to watch funny videos before coming to work she would perceive her stress as as more positive and same with look at her she's like she's like biting into the computer she's so stressed out so that's so that's basically the the idea is that is that a, a funny video can just be watched before you do something stressful, and it would make the experience a lot more positive. So oh, this is this is me be dealing with stressful situations before without watching a, a humorous video. I can't deal with it. And then this is me after 